Hello everyone and welcome to my new series. It's going to be Democracy 3 again and this time I just got the two new expansions. They're on the Steam sale so I kind of want to get back into it. It's uh, I think it's Extremism and Social Engineering are the two. So I'm going to do a new game and I played Canada on my last one. So I think I'll try Merca. I haven't really tried any of the other countries. Actually I've only played Canada really but um... So the idea for this series is I'm going to do the American Police State, so... Be super original. Da Police, and who are we against? Let's be against the Democrats. The Liberal Democrats, is that what the American Party is called? The Democratic Movement, the Democratic Union... The Democrats, okay, that's easy. Four year term, hurricanes, earthquakes, difficulty, everything's kind of set. Alright. So the idea for this run is to try and establish America as a police state without being assassinated. I figured it might be a little easier to do it on America as opposed to Canada, because they're a little more hard on their police. Wow, their health is terrible. <laughs> Congratulations, welcome as your new job as the president. The lives of all 316 million citizens are now in your hands. As, we, as you will imagine, there are a number of situations and concerns that you will need to deal with as soon as possible, while keeping an eye on long-term improvements for a citizen's quality of life. Plus, do not forget that you face re-election in four years, so you will need to monitor the opinion polls of our party members. Good luck. Liberals hate us, but there's not too many. Wow, there's a lot more capitalists in America than there is in the, uh, in the Canadian version of the game. Oh wow, they start out with the uh, techno technological advan advantage. That's pretty nice. So, what is this? This is new. Drug addiction. Police force. I figure this... 50... 54.4... Holy crap. Oh, sorry. Whoops. Oh, is America... Are they... Okay, the numbers are a little larger for America. I guess that just, like, represents the scale of the country. Our deficit is... 380 billion. That's so, like, ridiculous compared to some of the Canadian numbers. Alright, so I think, I don't think I've gotten the trophy yet, so this might be a good kind of end point for the game. It's, um, where is it? The police state. It seems nobody has been a stronger champion of the power of the state than you. Our citizens are now under firmer control than ever before. Good work. So that might be what I go for. But I'm still going to have to play the game kind of normally to get my popularity at a good level and everything like that. And also make sure I'm not assassinated. Internet crime. Well, alright. To start this run, run off, alright, let's do something police related here. Intelligence sources, and they're already pretty good. Death penalty. Mass murders only. So can you just, for most crimes, holy crap. That's a really hardcore. So yeah, the American game is very different, so let's let's just fund the police force more. Go way more in debt. And then yeah, I'm gonna work on this deficit too, so. Right, what should we tax? Or should we reduce spending? That could be a good idea too. Oh wow, I didn't know that compass feature was there before. That might be interesting. I know there is. Is it it's one of these, I believe. Yeah, here we go. So, military spending is our number one. State pensions, state schools, state health services, space program. Holy crap. So, military spending. Right, where's our debt on here? Oh, wow, debt interest is not that bad. Our income is income tax, sales tax, corporation tax, government borrowing. So, wow, income tax is a lot. So, maybe let's just bump up the sale. Holy crap, that's so much. Let's bump up the sales tax. Should we? I don't think I have enough to raise it. I don't. Hmm. Maybe I'll tackle one of the problems that they have then. A lot of them are crime related. There's environmental and uh, skill shortage. Ouch. Sorry, America. Education. That seems like a good place to start. Private schools, state schools. Once again, something that increases funding. But as a percentage, I guess our deficit isn't... Actually, is pretty bad. What's our credit rating? I think that'll, oh, that'll be my next economic report. Let's just do something simple. Um, car tax. Nah, 
I like too many people angry. Sorry if I seem a little indecisive, it's just early game is really important that you don't make a lot of people upset when your popularity is like that low. But um does my roommate just sneeze in the other room? You know what? Skill shortage. That seems like something we should tackle right now. Technology, science funding. Let's do it. And then I'll save the rest for the next time. What's it? Homelessness? I'll save that G I'll, I'll save that political capital for the next time. See if anything pops up here that's worth investigating. Debt protection law. Debt collection agencies have been in the news because of an aggressive method they are using to extract payments from people who owe large sums of money. These debt collector agencies provide a credit to people who hmm, allow agencies to operate. I don't know if that's police stating because that's like an eight that's a corporation doing it. But who will it upset? These agencies are preying on the weakest. You know what, let's limit their activity. I want to be the only uh, big bad guy in the area. I want to be big bad government here. Don't need no corporations moving on everything. Oh, our popularity's already gone up significantly since we took over. So that's great, I suppose. But I think I will not income tax. 160 billion deficit. Where's our sales tax? Let's just try to reduce it. Where are we at? So I'd have to bump it like way up to here. I don't know if I want to solve it completely, but... Hopefully we don't get brain drain or anything like that doing this. Let's try that for now. And then... So there should be a ton of new policies then. Well, yeah. There's definitely a lot more with these expansions, which is pretty great. Community policing. Hmm. Working with the community rather than attempting to control it. That sounds terrible. Race Discrimination Act. Prevents citizens from being discriminated against purely based on their race. National Armed Forces Week. Needle Exchange Program. Witness Protection. I think maybe uh, more police funding already. Maybe we'll deal with the, yeah, let's deal with drug addiction, police for or narcotics. That's a big issue. So, drug addict, we have no narco outlawed narcotics, but we still have drug addiction because of narcotics that are outlawed. That seems confusing to me. Unemployment's causing it, and that's really about it. Our military spending is hurting it for some reason. Let's cut back. Oh my god, overwhelming force. I don't have enough political capital to lower it, but I think that might be a good idea for my next uh, turn. Because we're all about the army on the uh, internal front, not the external. Children's food, let's regulate it. That seems police statey. Just kind of like keeping a firm iron fist on there. Or right, was I going to say? I have, the, I have the capital now and I was going to... Unemployment, military spending, that's what it was. This, that's a ridiculous amount of cost. This will make state employees, you know, as patriots will be a lot unhappier. But it will save me a ton of money and it will help unemployment. So let's bring it down to well-trained 150. Hopefully that won't cause any, like, massive riots or anything. The police force is helping this. Alcohol consumption. Do you have an alcohol abuse problem? We do not. Oh, right. They have their age is 21, though, so that's probably helping a lot. So, let's maybe get our popularity. Why do parents hate us? Drug addiction and asthma. This is, like, I had a whole playthrough just to solve that, so... I don't know how that'll affect it. Handgun laws... Oh wow, that takes a lot of capital. But I guess that's a very American ideal, having very liberal handgun laws. Or I guess, that is that very conservative? But they're kind of, hmm. But, all right, let me try to rephrase it to like make it sound actually intelligent. Um, they don't have a lot of handgun regulations, which like seems more kind of free, like it's very free to me, but it's a very conservative idea to have firearms. And I think, Police drones. No one likes that. I wonder why. 
But, um, you know what? I'll have this for now at a minimum level because it really helps out with, like, some of the crime stuff and it's it's pretty cheap as the American system is 9 billion quarter. But, um, I can abolish it later once my police force is stronger. But for right now, it seems community policing. Is that what I just implemented? No, I implemented it. Yeah. Okay. Private prisons. Rather than directly control and manage a state prison service, this policy allows the prisoners to be privately owned and managed, merely paid for by the um, and merely paid for by the state. Private prisons could result in lower costs and higher efficiency. These measures will be unpopular with trade unionists, liberals, and will have ethical concerns about profiling and incarceration, but will be pleased if spending is high enough to promote rehabilitation. Hmm. So the, if the funding's a none, how much I could cancel the policy. I think I will. I don't want private. I want it. I want a state. I want a police state, right? So the, pol the policing needs to be done by the state. And um, is there an obesity epidemic? There has to be. It's America. Are you serious? There isn't. Maybe is it because they did that lunch thing? Because that seems very un-American. No offense to you, any American viewers, if I have any. I'm not, I'm not being green, I don't need to fix the pollution controls. Gated communities. Conservatives and the wealthy love them. Decreases crime. That's not so bad. So maybe I'll save up my capital and try to do a big, uh, something big. Credit rating downgraded. Alright, so maybe I need to, maybe I do need to work on this. Now we're at B. Holy crap. We have a superhero. That's, I guess that's not good, does that mean our police force isn't doing what we want it to be? Alright, so yeah, our de oh, our, de our, our deficit went down, though. So why is our credit rating being downgraded? Where is it? Yeah, our debt. Our global, oh, the global economy is taking. Our income's going up. Our expenditures are going down. Like, that seems... a relative GDP is decreasing. Is that why? Because hmm. I cut back spending on military a ton. State pensions, holy crap. Hmm. Anyway, let's try and do something kind of interesting with a law, like a big law here, so... A law and order. Um, wiretap, internet censorship, gambling, CCTV cameras. Really, America doesn't have any of those at all. And they don't have wiretapping? That's interesting. I like how this is popular with some people. It seems a little extreme for right now. Secret courts. To combat modern terrorism and crime, it is sometimes necessary to keep things from the public. That our secret courts are established to control the control by government officials to assure that the law is followed and not broken. We cannot effectively fight terrorism and serious crimes if our secret methods are being exposed in open courts. That's pretty fucking hardcore police state. Holy compulsory church attendance. Flags on every street corner. I bet patriots would love that. Ban divorce. So wow, you can do really religious ideas. Maybe that's that social engineering thing. Torture usage by secret service. Holy shit, this is intense. You can just ban homosexuality. Holy crap, game. Let's do CTV cameras. Facial recognition level. That seems ultimate, like, police state to me. Just checking my time here. Six minutes left? Cool. So... Alright, yeah, let's try to address some more of these problems. We have internet crime, our intelligence services. Yes. Handgun laws. There's no way I'm going to be able to move that. Legal aid. Not everyone has the money to pay for a lawyer to defend themselves in court. Although a citizen should could theoretically defend himself, providing a state-employed lawyer should make for a fair system. On the other hand, this is basically a big subsidy to people who have already been charged with a crime but would rather be innocent and proven guilty. So we could we could save a ton of money. We just cancel this policy. So it seems very very much police statey. But it does like make everyone happy. It helps equality porting, socialist poor and liberals. Oh wow, I don't even have anything to do. I don't have enough political capital for any of that. But maybe um maybe that's something later. Hey, we fixed our vigilante malls by having kick-ass police. Damn right, crime's in the down. Employment's on the rise. Unfortunate. Health is shit. Alcohol abuse, drug addiction, population, alcohol consumption, tobacco usage, 
working. So let's go to crime here. And what's our big um, homelessness, internet crime, alcohol abuse? Wow, it's it's crazy high. But I'm pretty sure I thought. Oh wait, oh crap! There's uh, something I missed there. Did I get back to that again? Yeah, GM food proposal. All right, so police state. Hmm. How do police state tackle this? I guess it's not really a police state issue. It's just kind of what my party needs right now. A number of large agriculture companies are interested in growing genetically modified GM foods in our soil. But some foods can be generated from manipulated for longer shelf life and both disease and herbicide resistance. Opponents are concerned about the potential risks for food chain farmers surviving the issue. So let's allow them. I don't know why that's not kind of an already made decision because they're very much in use in America. Like America is very much using GM crops. They're like the they're at the forefront of that. That's already high. So we got community policing. I thought no community policing, right? Yeah, that's tank. Oh, okay, it has an implementation implementation delay. That's why we still have that massive alcohol abuse issue. So our crimes to bad. Internet crime, our intelligence services will help with that. Another thing to help with that would be uh, internet censorship. Do I not have enough for that? Not. How much does this take? 27. Hmm. No. Tasers? Why are tasers not popular? Possibly dangerous weapon which could affect criminals and give electrical support supporters say it's a good compromise between the naval disabled violent criminals and the risk of death associated with traditional firearms. Opponents claim the use of such weapons will lower the barrier to use for police and will encourage more casual use of the force against the population. I don't know, force against the population ubiquitous. It'll really help with crime, so why not? Let's try to reduce that crime rate, and that's all my capital, so. Anti-social behavior is added in. Ban tobacco adverts. There is a proposal for law to outlaw the advertising of tobacco on television, although it would remain legal to advertise on billboards and other means. The TV ban is seen as a potential way to reduce smoking by our citizens. I don't think tobacco can advertise, like, anywhere in Canada. Like, I, like our, I think our system, like, kind of limiting that is a lot more strict than Americans. Like, if you, like, even look at a Canadian, like, smokes pack, it has, like, a ton of this shit. Like, you'll die and look at this horrible picture of a rotting lung. Anyway, so, um... Without any serious effects, and this is an example of a nanny state trying to tell people what to do. Well, I'm exactly a nanny state trying to tell people what to do. Crimes on the down again. Alcohol abuse has been managed. Our GDP is going up. That's good. Hmm. Our popularity is not too bad. Patriots don't like us, which is... Okay. Oh, and those parents. My bad. Patriots love us because... Because of all of our giant military... Or cause not our giant, our giant military and our giant uh, police force. Let's see here. I could ban alcohol. That would piss everyone off, probably. I think that's one of the things that affect everyone. Oh, I guess it isn't. Nice, in the blue. That's what I like to see. Alright, so let's try and tackle some of the other issues that were that are affecting us right now, which is... Homelessness, which causes crime, so... We have giant unemployment, so that's bad. How can we fix this? Maybe some more subsidies. Unemployment is a big issue, so let's see here. Clean energy subsidies, maternity leave. They don't have maternity leave? Hmm. Oh wow, robots, research grants. So I don't have the um, the newest version, uh, the newest expansion. I figured I'd get, like, I just bought these two, so I'm just going to get into these, maybe do a playthrough or two before I go and get the next one. But um, the farmers like me? Not really. So maybe that'll be an idea. Just get the farmers to like me more. Let's do um, agriculture subsidies, farmer membership, income, farmers like me, unemployment goes down, capitalists don't like me as much, health and, and um, health to, and health gets worse because free food. So, well, this might be 
be, so this part will probably end on the next term here. Do I want to spend that much money? It's not that much. Um, maybe I really want to get rid of that unemployment, and the health effects aren't too bad. So I think that'll do that. I have seven more points. Liberals really don't like me because of all my force. Wow, that's a, yeah. They like community policing though, and legal aid, jury trials. But man, they're uh, they're not pleased. How do religious people like? Because um, that's something I have I've noticed about America. And it's a, you don't get that immediate and like horrible religious like hatred and like immediate assassination you get with Canada. I think that's mainly because of their abortion laws are a lot. Yeah, Canada you started like on um on manned, and here you have to have like lim here's limited circumstance only. And also, I'd just like to say, not everything I'm doing in democracy is what my necessary political beliefs are, unless I stated that. It is a game. I'm trying to do it in a specific kind of mindset of a police state. Obviously, I would rather not live in a police state. Maybe that's not obvious. Who knows? But anyway, thank you for watching part one of Let's Play Democracy 3, The American Police State. And uh, see you next time.